Dad and Kids Play 1. From evil supervillains who's bent on the destruction of Richards to the number one captain of the Marvel continuity. I'm Dad Mishima, and these are six unique things about Marvel Superheroes 2024 edition. Number one, it's the first Capcom fighting game to include the Avengers. Marvel Super Heroes was released back in October of 1995, but once again, I didn't get a chance to play it until a year later. And just like with its predecessor before it, this game was simply breathtaking. Unlike X-Men Children of the Atom, Marvel Super Heroes roster of characters was different but it has several returning characters from the previous installment. This time around, the game would include the Avengers in its character selection. This means we got the chance to play with characters such as Captain America, Spider-Man, The Hulk, and Iron Man. While X-Men Children of the Atom was more focused on X-Men oriented characters, Marvel Super Heroes took on a more broader approach to its character lineup. Number two, it's the first in the Versus series to include the refined air combo. X-Men Children of the Atom is well known for its broken combat system, which includes, but is not limited to, attacking the enemy while they're on the ground, or smacking someone with Sentinel's fierce kick. But here in Marvel Super Heroes, the combat system had a massive overhaul. First, Every character has what is called a launcher, which is a move that hits the opponent into the air. From there, press up on the joystick to follow it up with an air combo. In a Japanese release version of this game, this air combo is known as an aerial rave. Furthermore, with the inclusion of this system, many of the combat elements from X-Men Children of the Atom were taken out to refine the fighting system and to add more balance to the game. You could still make up combos, but more so on a smaller scale. Number three, the Hulk in this game is the Professor Hulk. So when it comes to the Professor Hulk, there's two things that stick out to me. The first one being the cover to War in Pieces from the comic book. And secondly, his catchphrase when starting a match. To those who don't know, mostly to the younger viewers, the Professor Hulk is considered to be one of the weakest versions of the Hulk, but physically, he's taller and bigger than the Savage Hulk. Speaking of the Savage Hulk, he doesn't appear in any Versus game until Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Meanwhile, the Professor Hulk has appeared in a few Versus games, with the final one being Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Number 4. Psylocke Wolverine, Juggernaut, and Magneto returns. Psylocke and Wolverine had actually made a name from X-Men, and for the most part, they play the same. Wolverine would gain a new move called Weapon X, while Psylocke will acquire two new hypers called Control Couture and the Psy Maelstrom. In addition to the new move set, this also marks the first appearance of Juggernaut and Magneto, but as playable characters. And for the sake of gameplay, the two boss characters from the previous game were nerfed in the name of Balance. Juggernaut would gain a move called the Juggernaut Punch, while Magneto could still use his force field, but only by using the Space Gem. Speaking of gems, Number 5 it was the first Capcom fighting game to use the Infinity Gems. Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite used the Infinity Gems, but it wasn't the first fighting game to do so. Marvel Super Heroes was the first game in the series to do it. Each of the gems grants a special effect on a character whenever it is used. And each of the characters in the game had their own special gem. For an example, Iron Man gained an extra buff whenever using the Soul Gem, while Spider-Man benefited from using the Power Gem. Number 6. 
The Japanese version had a secret Dark Starker's character that's playable. Just like X-Men Children of the Atom, this game has two bosses as well and they're actually broken, especially Thanos. But did you know that there's a third hidden character in the game? Anita is a Dark Starker based character and she can be seen accompanying Donovan in every step of the way. But there's a way to play with her in the Japanese version of this game. To unlock her, you must unlock Dr. Doom and Thanos first. Then from the character select screen, press up, right, down, left, up, right, down, left, up. Then quickly press light punch, medium punch, fierce punch in that order while holding each button down as the next button is pressed. Once you do this, you should have full access to the character, allowing you to play arcade and versus mode with her. Well everyone, that's it for this installment. Hope you enjoyed, and if you did, then don't forget to hit the like button. With that being said, I'm Dad Mishima, see you next video.